Antonio Daniels. Gilgis Alexander with Gallinari and right away to the block. A given. They're, they go to Steven Adams to start every basketball game. They'll go to him for the first two or three possessions of a game. And he gets what he wants. Almost got to the basket. Good recovery. And again, they're going to Steven Adams again. On a clear out. He's going to his strong side and he's going to get what he wants. So Steven Adams, don't forget he comes into the ghost jump shot. Lines up all off the rub. And going right by and blowing the layup because uh, Adams let him have it. Chris Ball with Gallinari. So three minutes gone by and a six-point lead. And again, little jump But, but you know what's tough, though? If you allow, and, and Pop used to tell us this all the time. And for OKC. The good part about that is you know they can't, they can't continue to play at that rate. Okafor denied and picked up. Steven Adams put a body into Adams, but Ingram coming off the rub. And with the left hand denied. I, I like the 10 footer that Chris Paul took. Right. But you know I don't, I don't mean? mind that for Brendan Ingram is so much longer and so much more athletic. And he had two of those left hand finger rolls last game. That was a tough angle, though. They pushed him further away from the basket, didn't they? Five minutes gone by. Eight point game becomes an 11 point game. Man, oh man. Gilgis Alexander with the bucket. Comes in averaging 18. He only had two in the first half on Friday. Right. 10 for the game, so way below his average. Taken away. They thought it was a kick. It's Steven Adams. And fortunately, Chris Paul's on the trail. Got to get back in transition. And over and back. Turnover is the first of the game for OKC. So the Pels find themselves without rushing. Holiday wanted to go to Jackson. Good extra pass. Each one more. Not close. Adams, the baseball pass. Got a good catch by him taking the shot. He's a plus seven. Lonzo ball out there. Drew Holiday will get his first break. And each one more favorite play. Too strong. But boy, did we see that a lot over the last couple of years. And it was a money shot, a little runner. For each one more off the weak side. That rub. So the opening possession of the second quarter. Pell's down 14 early. It's four after 12 minutes of play. And it's a hold on Jackson Hayes. Now, now in this situation right here, if Jackson Hayes needs to know and understand that you have his back, he should not have to play against Steven Adams by itself. With the flip. That's too much space. Yeah, he got it. 35-29 and Steven. And a gamble. Doesn't pay off, does it? 41-31. Got to get stronger at the defensive end. Each one finds Nico. Good corner three look. Can't ask for a better look. So three minutes gone by. Pels with only two points so far. And going the other way. Look on the high screen for J.J. Redick. Give him an assist on that. 46-45. And there you go. You That's it's the same exact call. Adams. Right. Same exact call. It just gave each one more. Because it Good job, Jackson. Inside of 10 on the shot clock. Now, I love it. You pull in the chair? No, but no, you ain't going to pull the chair, but you're going to make it somewhat difficult. So you're going to use your hands. 40. So the Pels have been down by as many as 14. Drew got there. Can't finish. Man. Once in the paint, they'd be big. Right now it's 28-20. OKC in that category. Gilgis Alexander. Man, it's going to be a foul on Drew Holiday. It's about J.J. Reddick is the work that he does off the basketball. That is not an easy shot right there. That was a two-for-one attempt. Steven Adams comes down There's with Drew. it. There's Drew. And took it away. Had that. I took it away. Right. So Drew and Adams. He knew where it was going for Gallinari's three, and it works. What you would like to see is Brandon Ingram be aggressive right here and attack the rim just to force the referee to blow the whistle. Force the official to blow the whistle. It's blocked away, but it goes to Jackson Hayes following Steven Adams. Free throws slowed down a little bit. 15 in the shot clock for Brandon Ingram. Mid-range. Too strong. Adams clears it away. They've got numbers. It'll be Nader on the trail, not out of his hand. Oh, and Hart will pick it up. Take for a three-point shot. Now Brandon Ingram going to the hole, setting it up for Jackson. And he's denied by Steven Adams. In a tough position to begin with. You don't need to make it difficult. You can rise and take that 10-12-footer over the smaller man. Right. Steven Adams. And he's going to the free throw line. That's a good foul. That's what he does. 
That's what he does. He knows how to finish, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. So now the run is 12 to nothing. Drew Holiday sets it up. Jackson Hayes like going that. to the line. Looking for the three-point play. Perfect now at this end of the floor. And a, a, a Hall of Famer is running their half-court sets. That's all. He wanted to get back to Adams. And he's going to the free-throw line again. Today's pick. Get into the teeth of the defense for a mid-range step back. It'll be short and an air ball. And now the driver's seat belongs to OKC. Another finish stop. They're desperate for one. It'll be Steven Adams. And blocked by Josh Hart. But he'll get it right back. Can't stop. Headed south in a hurry, didn't it? Stays in decisions down the stretch. That had been a 16-3 run before that triple. Steven Adams. And he can bring it back out with the foul. 